ਡਾਕਟਰ ਅਲੀ ਕਨਾਨੀ ਆਰਥੋਡੋਂਟਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਸਰਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਿਸਟ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਹਰ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਤੇ ਫੇਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਇਰੈਗੂਲੈਰਿਟੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਜਾਂਚ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਲਾਜ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਰੋਕਥਾਮ ਦੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਹਨ ਸਾਫ਼ ਸੁਥਰੇ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਤੇ ਲੇਟੈਸਟ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗਾਂ ਤੱਕ ਦੀ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਲਾਜ ਕਰਾਓ ਤੇ 에ਅਰ ਮਾਈਲਸ ਵੀ ਪਾਓ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿੰਗ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਸਮਾਈਲਸ ਗਿਲਫਰਡ ਆਰਥੋਡੋਂਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਟਰ 604-599-2212 ਜਾਂ ਲੈਂਗਲੀ ਆਰਥੋਡੋਂਟਿਕਸ 604-533-6696 once again welcome back after the break aaj de segment vich thodi mulakat karange gabriel yunal a vancouver fraser view vich ndp de ummeedwar han ate aao inna de naal saanj paane ke us riding de vich kehde challenges log face kar rahe ne te jekar a mla select hunde ne ta oh issues nu kive solve karange welcome to the program hi thanks welcome so give you a little bit about yourself what's your background uh, i'm a small business person uh, i'm immigrant from hong kong mm-hmm. uh, i moved here 21 years ago um, i have small business uh, retail business in vancouver but i have been active as a commentator too uh i've been writing commenting for over 15 years and mm-hmm. i used to write for the vancouver sun too okay oh that's wonderful so now you're jumping into politics so what prompted you to take this stand well first of all as a commentator i've been monitor- uh, monitoring uh what's going on quite closely mm-hmm. and i realized that uh quite some years ago that uh, the liberals are not doing a good job mm-hmm. so i think that well maybe it's time for change so i uh, offer myself to join the ndp right. and then now i'm a candidate okay so as a small businessman and a small entrepreneur generally what we hear is that the liberals are is a party which talks for the businesses and ndp is a pro union party that is what the general talk is in the communities so you selected ndp as a party to jump in uh, do your ideals match with this party and why do you feel that ndp was the right choice for you well first of all i did some research and mm-hmm. i realized that uh, although a lot of people thinks that the uh, economy in the 90s was bad mm-hmm. but uh, in the last 30 years actually under so quite it ndp and also liberals the best uh, gdp deve- uh, growth was actually in the 90s okay. and then the je- best job growth was also in the 90s mm-hmm. so for myself i think um to me uh, the reason why i moved to canada because i think um canada is a country who cares about people mm-hmm. and uh equal rights uh cares about the uh, vulnerable in the society and environment and i think ndp is very strong in that and that's a str- uh, you know strong point what you have talked that in the 90s the gdp was the most whereas the liberals have always been harping on this issue that uh, vote for them because in the 90s the economy was in shambles and again don't bring that kind of situation so yeah. that's an interesting part what you have talked yeah, about yeah because well the the pc <laughs> business council is not close to the ndp they right. did a re- report just mm-hmm. uh, released a couple months ago right. and that was the findings okay so give me let's talk a little bit about your riding so uh, if you could tell us the demographics of your riding uh, what uh, cultures are living over there and uh, as you are door knocking and meeting the people What are the challenges which are being brought forward by the public? Well, Vancouver Fraser View is from uh, the boundary uh, east side is a boundary road mm-hmm. to Fra- uh, Fraser Street. And actually while well, in our riding we have uh, the longest uh, largest Sikh temple in the riding right. uh, at Ross Street Temple. Mm-hmm. Um the South Asian uh, population is about 15 to 70% percent mm-hmm. uh that's uh 2006 uh census so right. latest i do not know how accurate is that okay. uh chinese is i think almost half now uh-huh. and then filipinos probably 10 to 15 right and then we have uh caucasian korean vietnamese it's just a very very uh, diverse diverse uh, immigrant community okay and as i asked that uh, you are going and meeting the public and uh, telling about your agenda Uh, what are the public uh, people telling you about what are the issues they are facing well i think um for in the past few years what we heard a lot is the hst mm-hmm. uh while well, it's amazing until this very moment the hst is still <laughs> with us right so this is one of the major thing and uh, because a lot of the people in the riding is in with small business mm-hmm. and and the other thing is thought they also so sees a lot of um a uh, erosion of our education and our health uh, care standard. Right. And uh I I hear quite strongly that people think it's time for change for better. Mhm. Now as you have been a small entrepreneur and also you talked about being a commentator, what else have you done for the community? What has been your contribution? Oh, well, I have uh, done quite a bit. Well, first of all, as a commentator, I serve as a bridge uh between the immigrant community and mainstream society, right. bringing up uh, talking about some of the um, controversial issues mm-hmm. and also help the community know to learn more about politics 
uh, in the community, uh, like I, I, I was the coordinator for the HSD campaign in my riding. Right. Uh, Vancouver Fraserville, actually, it's um, the riding uh, across the province who got the highest yes vote against HST. Right. And I also um, am a, a, a human rights activist, mm -hmm. like uh, there was uh, 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 immigrants being beat up by police uh, just three years ago. Right. Uh, myself and my friends helped them mm -hmm. to seek justice, and in eventually they got a compensation from the city of Vancouver. Right. Um, when the Champagne Annex School was being threatened to close in our riding, mm -hmm. I rallied with my fam uh, uh, with our parents there, uh, with the parents there, right. and we successfully stopped the, the, the closure of the school. So you have been contributing back to the community by being involved in basic issues which need to be addressed. Yeah, because I think this is the, 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 the Canadian spirit, because while I came from Hong Kong, it's a very capitalistic city. Right. Um, but to me, I'm more caring about the environment, about people, mm -hmm. uh, our community. So I think, well, when, when I've got time and when I've got the energy, I really like to contribute to the society. Right. Okay, now that you've talked about the issues which the public is bringing forward, you as an individual, when you are going and meeting the people, what are you addressing to? Why should the public vote for you mm -hmm. instead of the other candidate? What difference will you bring in the... Uh, in the system and how will you be helpful to the public? I think one of the very important thing is uh, strong representation of the riding. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved here in uh, 1991, that was uh, 21 years ago. Right. Uh, according to my memory, I think uh, all the MLA mm -hmm. uh, in the past two decades in our ridings are parachute candidates. Right. They only serve one term and then they left. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important for Vancouver Fraser to have someone who really lives in the riding who cares and work for the community mm -hmm. to represent uh, the riding. And I think I have a very good proven record. Uh, my kids um, study at local high school and, and, and junior school. I participated the PACS, the parents committee meeting there. Uh, and I have been quite involved in the community. And of course, I also have a strong track record as a commentator who understand uh, government matters. So I hope uh, people can uh, take a look at my background mm -hmm. and give me a chance to represent them in Victoria. Right, and towards the end, uh, because you've been meeting people from across different whatever cultures, and especially the South Asian culture, and people who are watching this program, and what would be your message to the South Asians? Well, I think um, uh, South Asian, Chinese, uh, Vietnamese, we live in the same community, mm -hmm. but uh, I think up to this point, I see very little communication between right. uh, different ethnic communities. Mm -hmm. And I want to serve as a bridge. That's Wonderful. why um, last year, when the Komagala Maru Museum opens, I uh, helped the temple to organize a press conference, mm -hmm. bringing Chinese, tr Chinese uh, media there. Right. And then I also uh, organized a press conference and then uh, uh, with the temple leader inviting Chinese community to participate uh, the Wasaki events last year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll do the same thing. That's wonderful. It's a wonderful thought that uh, instead of living in cocoons, we intermingle with each other and understand each other. Thank you very much and best wishes. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.